Hey, I'm Max Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Report. Let's check in with Stacy and find out what she has to say. Stacy, what do you have to say? A story that you and I have been covering for the past few years is this notion of demonetization, that governments wanted to get rid of cash because apparently there's so much corruption out there and they need to protect you from terrorism, terror financing, from uh, rich people evading taxes. Well, we have now the results from India. And guess what? It's been a disaster. Modi's anti-graft drive hit after Indians return 99% of banned notes. Indians have deposited nearly all the currency bills voided by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, denting the central bank's profit and dealing a blow to his drive to unearth unaccounted wealth. Banks have received 15.28 trillion rupees, which is about $239 billion, or 99% of the currency invalidated, the Reserve Bank of India said in its annual report last Wednesday. The government had initially estimated about 5 trillion rupees wouldn't be declared following the sudden move on November 9th, indicating that this was cash stashed away illegally to avoid tax. The cash ban prompted the central bank to print new currency, reducing its profit and cutting annual dividend payout to the government by half. They had expected to make a huge profit on it because they thought these 30% of the currency outstanding was being hidden or laundered or used for terror financing. So nobody would turn it in. These bad guys wouldn't turn it in, but they did. So let's uh, go over what, uh, from another headline from Bloomberg, what was expected and what failed to happen based on the theories from the White Tower called The Economist, where The Economist live, this, uh, this, this high tower where they think they know better than the rest of us. Modi's biggest move is a total bust. Eliminating 86% of the country's currency has had zero benefits. Some said that um, eight months on, no argument advanced by the government or its backers in favor of demonetization has been validated. Some officials argued that the piles of cash the prime minister spoke of would be extinguished, representing a transfer from black money hoarders to the Reserve Bank's balance sheet, which the government could use, say, to recapitalize India's struggling banks. That has not materialized, and in fact, the RBI has given far less than usual to the government this year. So again, another claim they made, and then the exact opposite happening, we're going to go into now. Some said that counterfeit currency would be exposed. In fact, it's less than 0.0007% of the cash taken in. The prime minister himself argued that demonetization would, quote, break the back of terrorism by cutting off sources of funding. Instead, this has been among the bloodiest summers for Indian security forces in Kashmir. This week, Jaitley, who is the finance secretary, argued that the move would change Indians' behavior, encouraging them to use digital payments instead of cash. But as I've pointed out in the past, demonetization is the exact opposite of what Cast Sunstein would call a nudge. Now let's look at some of the consequences, Max. Exactly how disruptive was demonetization? Well, it may have eliminated over 5 million jobs. It certainly ensured that growth slowed. For weeks, hundreds of thousands of small businesses struggled to find work and capital. Many of them may have gone out of business permanently. There was so little cash that agricultural prices crashed, and as a result, protesting farmers began the demand that their debts be written off. The government may give in with dreadful consequences for India's fiscal position. Okay, so those five million jobs lost. Okay, a lot of people are going to be dead. So let's, let's do, like, connect the dots here. Let's uh, calm down a little bit and go into some of the details because exactly how slow, how much the economy has slowed. Again, here are some of the figures on that. <laughs> a raft of economic data since the note ban decision has signaled that the $2 trillion economy was hurt by the cash clampdown, raising fears that the economic growth would stall. Growth in the quarter ended March 2017, slowed to 6.1% from a year earlier. It expanded 7% in the previous quarter. Chomsky has said it's manufacturing consent. If you put voters in the front of a TV gun with nothing but garbage, they're going to do stupid things. Watch it, learn something, come back, and then unlearn it. Okay.